Good morning, guys. So, welcome to SSIS training as part of MSBA. Uh, today, let us understand that is going to see uh, the very, very important question the people would ask in the interview is, uh, what is a block of transformation and what is a non-block of transformations? And that is also asked indirectly like this. What is a synchronous transformations versus asynchronous transformations? Okay, this is very, very important question. In all SSIS interviews, you will be able to get this question. Clear? So what is a blocked versus non-blocked transformations? And what is synchronous versus asynchronous transformations? Let us understand. So apart from uh, uh, those transformations, so we have a transformation called sorting. This sorts inputs uh, data in ascending or descending order and copies the data to the destination. It basically sorts the data in ascending or descending order and the data will be copied to the destination. So you can also have a uh, one more feature here. You can also eliminate duplicate rows if you wanted to eliminate. Okay, and it is clearly saying a block of transformation. Okay, so let us do small demo on the blocking transformation here. And uh, let me you know directly go to. So I have already be source. I'm reading some data from SQL Server and I'm doing some kind of a sorting and dumping the data into the OLEDB destination. But the import po uh, important point here is that sorting go is a block of transformation. Let me quickly go here and uh, take a new package. Okay. Now immediately go here and uh, drag and drop data flow task. Double click on this. And let me have a, a OLEDB source now let me go here and drag and drop for a db source and double click on this and go to manager and uh, let me take a new connection manager and uh, i am using local server name normally this server name you will be going to uh, get from the client or the customer okay they'll give you ip address of the server where the the source data is available so i'll go here and choose one database called ibank database you can have a test connection it's working fine oh, it's done so the source is ibank i have lots of table when i go to my sql server and this is the database i'm going to use here i have lots of table one of the table i'm going to use here uh, the account master or a master table let me execute i have some data here okay i have approximately 62 rows which are available here so this is the table i'm going to use to sort the data let me go here and name of the table as i said i'm going to use a master table so you can also preview the data this is my data which is coming from i wanted to sort the data based on name so click on okay now this is my source data now what i'm planning to do here is that let me have a sort transformation and a drag and drop sort and keeping it here and link a create a link double click on this i wanted to sort the data and based on descending or ascending order so i'm planning to use descending order and uh, this is this one okay you can also have say branch wise i wanted to sort the data so and here you have one and you have two what is the meaning of one and two so the sorting has to be done in the name first later the sorting has to be done in the brid when you give ordering so when you give this is one and when you give this is two what is the meaning of this the sorting will be done on the branch id brid first later the sorting is done on the name so that is the meaning of that so when you have multiple ids but i don't want to give so simply uh, let me uncheck this i wanted to sort the data based on name right and descending order and remove rows with duplicate values when you check this when you have duplicate value in the source for example i have john and john in the source data uh, I, if i have multiple johns i'll be able to get only one john in the destination that is the purpose of the remove duplicate rows this is very simple transformation so click on ok so that's it so 
I have to take one more, you know, flat file or Excel destination, or let me take ODB uh, destination here uh, to send the data. So let me just take this and create a link here. And now double click on this and you can configurations. So you can look for one more database and remove this connection. Let me create a new connection for the destination. So dot is the local default SQL server. I'm going to work this connection. I'm able to connect to that server and I'm able to use now company database. And now I wanted to send all this data to this server. I have to create a blank table here. So normally the source data will be given by the customer. The destination table always, you know, as a developer, you have to you know create so this is account to master destination table am destination is a table name so these are automatically created you need not do only thing is that you have to change this so this is a blank table gets created now the important thing is that you have to click on mappings if you don't click on mappings you will be able to see the red button here okay so always uh, remember that double click on this always you have to click on mappings and so that everything is properly you know mapped or not you can 